What the? Oh, right. The bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. Feeling nervous, alien? Standing in the middle of Imperial intelligence? I can say one word, or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. That's a lot of responsibility for one man. I knew you'd understand. Makes your head spin, doesn't it? I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam, I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery. And it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally. We sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to the temple? Because you've got warrior instincts, like me. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. It's a done deal. I tell you, I envy you getting to do the fun part. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. It's kind of funny seeing so much of the new cost city growing up around the old Sith architecture. It's like stepping through time. You certainly look fearless and strong. I could use your help out here. Please excuse me. It's these long nights excavating relics near the Dark Temple. I'm Major Swain Lothar, Imperial Reclamation Service. My team uncovered several significant artifacts at a nearby dig. That's when things started going wrong. There a finder fee for these relics? Of course. But there's more than relics in those caves. First, it was strange noises from the temple, then figures lurking nearby. My team didn't like it, but I told them to push on. Now their day's overdue, and I owe a report to Lord Duan. But I can't go out there. I need someone to find them, make sure the artifacts make it. I've seen it all. Wish I could say the same for myself. My team's still in those caves. Whatever's happened, please bring those relics to Lord Duan. He's overseeing a small camp by the Dark Temple. I've only a moment to rest. Those things from the Dark Temple are attacking again. Jez thinks they're drawn to the artifacts. I bet he's right. They went berserk the second we packed everything up to leave. It's time to make a stand. If those crazies want our relics, they'll have to kill us first. Your archaeologist team is dead. Killed for the relics they uncovered. I have them now. Interesting. The Dark Temple's presence continues to surprise and fascinate. I'll quarantine the artifacts for future study. A shame we lost the whole team. At least it wasn't a total loss. After all, we got what we came for. Happy to be of service. Whatever secrets these pieces hide, we'll find them. Thank you. Hey, uh, I know I might be a little late mentioning this, but I'm getting some seriously creepy signals out here. I really don't think we should go in there. I can still hear them talking. I cut off my holo receiver, but I can still hear them. If I lose it, please don't leave me down here. What is this in front of me? Another worshipper? Who braves the flames of the Altar of Horror to stand in front of Lord Barrel Slathborn, Lord of the Sith? This tomb has driven you insane, Lord. Insane? No. Do not seek madness, but fear and hatred, the tools of the Sith. Hope you don't mind if I shoot you now. To me, my disciples! 
You got DIDs? Fantastic. Let me see. That's Commander Gargans, all right. What was it like in the Dark Temple? I've yet to hear anything that didn't sound like pure raving. You wouldn't believe me about that place if I told you. Huh. Still wish I could have got it myself. Would have saved me some unpleasantness. Listen to me. Unpleasantness. I'm even starting to talk like a spy. Friend. Remember when I said Sith didn't want anyone in the Dark Temple? I remember all right. Well, you can probably guess the rest. I can't risk the Sith ever finding out you went into their precious Dark Temple, which means you're now a liability. I apologize. This isn't the way a fighting man should die. Guards! went wrong, didn't it? Got a hole in my gut. I'm not going to beg. Turning on someone who did their job is wrong. We both know it. Here's your writ. <clears throat> it tells the Mandalorians you did your job. And here's your pay. The rest is up to you. Are you gonna send more men after me? To do what? Add to the body count. My men are no match for you. How about I make a more concrete apology? I'll send you some top-of-the-line weaponry as soon as you're out of here. That work for you? I'm glad this didn't have to get personal. It never was. Believe me. You're everything a man should be. I wish I'd... Well... It's too late for regrets. What's done is done. Good hunting to you. You're alive! Some Mandalorian big shot named Taro Blood said you were dead. They're about to start the melee without you. I can't wait to kill that man. You're gonna have to wait until after the melee. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! Nothing will stand in my way. That's the spirit. And the last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance. And it looks like we have a latecomer. I just like to make a big entrance. Coming back from the dead is a big entrance, all right. Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? We all heard tales of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. Make sure it's something you can dance to. Consider it done. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the great hunt. Fight! Hunter remains. <laughs> Quite a show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? I just stomped my competition into the dirt. I feel great. <laughs> Enjoy it. Things only get harder from here. <laughs> Uh...
This is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting a hunt already? No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I must object to this farce. That thing does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. His credentials are a lie, fabricated by his little gutter rat of a sidekick. He deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. I sure hope you're not gonna cry. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. You get all that, Hunter? Maybe you want to sum it up for me. <sighs> all right, I'll try. But without the flowery stuff. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other hunters. That seems simple enough. Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. What a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the great hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. Just tell me where to point my blaster. Hey, you gotta hunt before you can shoot. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. No more shuttle rides for me. It ain't gonna be quite that easy. We'll talk about it in a second. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. Go on, I'm listening. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Taro Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You gotta steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is gonna be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? Gotcha. I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. I'm off on the Great Hunt. Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. All right, you disgusting pile of puke. Drop your weapon and kiss the floor. This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? Can you repeat all that into this barrel? You filthy off-world virus. I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Karakimi, Anikag Nikag, Kanyak Gak Akiguamjam. You heard the man at him! <laughs> Rules or no rules, Taro Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be alright. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? 
So this is pretty priceless. There's a ton of buzz on the net about someone breaking into Fothra's place. Fothra's been throwing credits around to find out who did it. No takers. Nemro's paying them to keep quiet. He's having way too much fun watching Fothra suffer. I didn't think there was anyone on Hutta who wouldn't sell their own mother for a quick credit. You think that'd be bigger news? Beings with sense of humor located on Hutta, end of universe imminent. You know, Brayden used to say I was unique for having this holonet link, but I have no clue how I got it. I've had this implant forever. Parents must have had me teched out as a baby. Who does that? I suppose that's a good question. Brayden was always encouraging me to look for my past, and I figured street kid from Narshada, what's to know? Now, gotta admit he was right. Something weird there. You want any help? Let me know. Be careful about promises, buddy, or you'll wind up volunteering to wrestle rancors on Hutta. Thanks. Really, I appreciate it.